So how did you sleep, my love? We bought new ultralight sleeping bags for our hiking trips and couldn't wait to try them out by sleeping in a mountain bivouac. For this experience we chose a bivouac under Mount Musets, which stands on a mountain ridge above Brugin village in the far western part of Slovenia. Our journey began in the small town of Kobarit. The trail immediately started to climb steeply through the forest, which didn't surprise us since we had to ascend over 1,400 meters that day. At the top of the first ascent, we were greeted by a beautiful alpine meadow, where sheep graze in the summer. But since it's winter now, we had it all to ourselves. God, I think these are bare footprints. This is a mountain bivouac. Although it's cute and cozy, it's not our final destination. Here we had lunch and a short rest. We also filled our empty bottles with fresh spring water, which was very important for us, as we still had a long way to go. The old stone road led us toward the highest peak of our hike. Bad weather. Only here we have sun. We are lucky bastards. Because of filming and admiring the views, we hiked up the mountain stow much longer than expected. And we still had a quiet long way to go to the bivouac where we spent the night.
Because the sun was starting to set and the darkness was coming in, the situation became serious. We didn't know exactly where the bivouac was and whether we would be able to find it in the dark. You can't imagine the relief we felt when we saw it. So how did you sleep, my love? Not so much, but I was warm all night. Coffee time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, now that we spent cold night in the new sleeping bag, we can give you our first impression. This sleeping bag is a three-season sleeping bag appropriate for spring, summer and autumn. So with the minus four degrees Celsius in a bivouac that night, we truly pushed its limit. The manufacturer warns that the sleeping bag does not warm the body, but only maintains body temperature. Because we were tired that night, and our body was no longer emitting heat, we helped ourselves to warm the sleeping bag with a bottle of heated water. And we were surprisingly warm all night. This sleeping bag retains heat very well. Also, the mummy shape helps a lot. It prevents cold air from entering. The sleeping bag is light and extremely compressible, so it doesn't take much space in a backpack. As you can see, it's white in color, which we like as it gives a look of elegance. By not using colors, the manufacturer wants to reduce the impact on the environment that the dyed textile has. And it's also made of recycled material. How great is that? Okay, my dear friends, that is it for today. Live fly by inspiration and enjoy every bit of it. See ya in the next video. Ciao.